Chapter 4, The Sisters of Manbarabar The story about the witness is about two beautiful sisters who travel seeking to avenge their father. Mara, the older sister, is a dancer. Nara, the younger one, is a fortune teller. The story begins in Manbaraba, a town of song and dance. All right, and there's the first of our sisters dancing on stage. Mara, you're the best! Yahoo! I love you, Mara! Good performance, sis. Did you see him? No. I didn't see a cute guy in the audience today, either. No, I mean him. Our sworn enemy. Balzac. I'm hoping I'm pronouncing that right. Oh, right. No, I didn't see him either. I see. Oh, don't be so discouraged. If you continue to travel, someday you'll find him. Here, I'll pay you through today. Thanks for performing for us. Alright, a hundred and gold. You're so popular, I want you to stay longer, but I don't want to interfere with your pursuit of revenge. Rest well tonight, and leave in the morning. Have a safe journey. Good morning, sis. Shall we leave now? Okay, so we got control of the two sisters, Mara and Nara. You know, like the sauce. Now, Nara is our fortune teller. And she's our healer. She's going to learn spells to help us heal and fight better and so forth. And Mara is our dancer. And she's going to learn spells that are combative. She's our wizard, our mage. Though it was only a short time, I enjoyed working with you. I hope you succeed in your pursuit of revenge. Now, Manbaraba is a pretty big town. And we got a lot of stuff to check out. Like this vase here. And we got a medical herb. Oh, so you're searching for the man who murdered your father. <laughs> well, I mean, okay, just put it bluntly. This is the theater. The master is waiting in the basement below. The master is in the basement waiting room. So yeah, here's where we were performing earlier. Nice and quiet tonight. Well, it's not tonight, it's the morning. So you're finally leaving. I think it's a good idea to return to Keeves once in a while. Don't forget to visit... Vis Don't forget to visit your father's grave. Take care. So Keeves. Keeves is where our father is buried. So we have to go there. Well, we don't have to, but it's not gonna hurt. Is that the wrong one? Yes, it is. Strength Seed. So I was trying to hold on to those seeds for Chapter 5. We saw that that did not work in Chapter 2. I don't know if that will work or not in this chapter. But we have, what, a hundred gold. You have a sword and robe. But you only have... your dancer's uniform. So should get you a sword. Or whatever weapon you can use. I hear Lynn from the eatery ran away. She was so popular. Alright, so there's the item the armor shop, and there's the weapon shop. Alright, we would like... Let's see. We do have copper swords. But Mara cannot use a copper sword, nor can she use a club. She needs a thorn whip or a boomerang. In fact, they could both use the boomerang. Let's check out the armor shop. Okay, Wayfarer's clothes. I don't know if our stuff is better than Wayfarer's clothes. Probably. Let's see, 
leather dress is 14, so that should be our goal. And leather hat is just plus two. So let's look for leather. Well, look to get leather hats, leather dress. Sorry, the eatery opens at night. That Lynn, where'd she go? I'll punish her if I find her. Well, that's a good way to get her to come back. This guy's asleep during the day. He must work at night. There's the House of Healing. Come on. There's the inn. Is there anybody in the inn? Yes, there is. And there's someone hiding behind the inn. I don't know who you're looking for. There's no one here but me. Get out. Oh, there's someone back there. I wonder if that's Lynn. This is Manbaraba, a town of music and dance. The village of Keeps is in the north. And that's where we're going to be heading. But first we're going to explore all this town. No one's downstairs? My husband has gone somewhere again. I hear Edgar, an alchemist in Keeps, was murdered by his pupil Balzac. What? You're his daughters? Oh, I feel so sorry for you. Okay, so we're still only level one. And we don't exactly have the best equipment. We also get special battle music. So Nara will attack, and Mara will cast Blaze. So what we're going to do is we'll train outside until it's nighttime. Then we'll go see what happens in the village at night. And we'll try to get, um, well, we'll try to get whatever good equipment we can. Okay, you attack the slime and you blaze the, the Crasco's Hopper. It's been a while since we saw one of those, hasn't it? ahead a little bit, and there is some pretty good equipment in keys, but the bulk of our, at least our initial equipment, will be here in Manbarabar. So I wonder if Mara just misses, period, if she doesn't have a weapon. Right now, the best thing for her would be the boomerang. But she can use a thorn whip. Alright, we can cast Blaze one more time. So I'll try to hang on to it if something nasty shows up. not really that nasty. Actually, you're even less nasty than I thought. Not a great experience. That's alright, we're doing this for the money. That wasn't great money either. So 
So I have a goal for this episode. I want to visit every village that we can get to on this continent. I want to do that so we can get access to all the best equipment as early as possible. But we gotta get through these enemies first. Alright, so Mara can hit. Okay. 8 experience and 21 gold. And that is enough to gain a level. Alright, the sisters are doing it. Let's go inside now that it's nighttime. And we'll say hello to everybody. Like you. Oh, don't run away. Don't tell anyone I'm here. I don't want to go to the castle. I heard that a coup broke out at the... K Kilan. Um, broke out at Kilan, and the king was overthrown. The new king, calling himself an alchemist, is performing horrible experiments. So, yeah, so now we got some intrigue going on. I strive to save the injured. Sleepy guy. Now we know the eatery opens up at night. So let's go counterclockwise around the town. Oh, you found your husband? He came back and fell asleep while I was out looking for him. Where was he? I don't know. I don't remember seeing him. Uh, that cave has a secret. Ooh, cave secrets. Okay. Many girls are summoned to the feast held, at, held almost every night at Keelan Castle. No girl ever returns from there. Well, either that means the, the feast was so good they didn't want to leave, or something nefarious is happening. The stage is downstairs. Mara, I thought you had left town. You're back. Let's dance and enjoy the music. Okay, so it's... it's still packed. I bought the cheapest ticket. I didn't know I'd be stuck in the back. It could be worse. Watching dance relaxes me. This guy's stuck behind a pillar. So is this guy. Ah, uh, this crowd. Don't they have anything better to do? I can't see a thing. This post blocks my view. Ah, and there's some girls dancing. The man behind me is noisy. Can't he act like a gentleman? Yeehaw! Wow, I love watching the show up close. Mara! I'm so excited to talk with you! So yeah, nice and busy night. The castle people are summoning girls to the castle. They say they're having a feast there. Where's the castle? Oh, it's far north from here, beyond Keeves. So we got two places to visit now, the castle and Keeves. I'm a new dancer. I'll try to become as popular as Mara, the former star here. Yahoo! Shake more! Woo! Oh, we can talk to this guy. Mara, it's you! I heard you quit, but you're back. I'm glad. Sadly, though, I don't think we get any reward or anything for going on stage. That could have been a nice trick, sort of like with uh, Taloon's chapter, where you could sell stuff. Like on this chapter, you could make some money doing dancing or doing uh, fortune telling. Alchemy? Yes, I know. Isn't it a method of turning iron into gold? Well, that's part of it. Good food after work is the best. Ah, so delicious. 
I wonder why Edgar was mur murdered by his pupil, Balzac. Now we're gonna find that out. Hey, aren't you Edgar's daughters? Did he succeed in turning iron into gold? If he did, he could become a king. Well, maybe that's what happened. Maybe he learned the trick. Greetings, eat and sing, forget your problems. Oh, a bunch of dancers up here. People like you shouldn't come here. Okay. It's rude. What? This is the Puff Puff Room. I can't tell you. Oh, a Puff Puff Room. Oh, things are getting uh, raunchy. If you're familiar with Puff Puff, it's kind of like a running joke in the Dragon Quest series. This was Lin's room. Where is she now? Well, we know where Lin is, but we're not going to give it away. I hope you find Balzac, the object of your revenge, soon. Well, I don't think we're going to find him this episode. And probably not the next episode. But we'll see. 6 GP. Okay. Alright, now... At the moment... The best... Weapon for Mara is here. The best weapon for... Narrow will be in Keebs. We can get the best armor and the best hat over there as well. And I don't think we have even have enough money for the thorn whip. So let's travel north to Keebs. We'll see what's going on over there. Monjars. You guys weren't too bad. strong enough to take them out in one attack yet. Missed. Money wasn't bad. Okay, I see a signpost up there, but look, an angel head. New enemy. How do you feel about Blaze? Ooh, three points of damage. You can still take it out in one round. North to the village of Keebs. And there it is. But first... Alright, three red slimes. And they attack before we're ready. See if you can take one of those out with a single attack. There you go. Okay, we're only a few steps away from town, but let's heal anyways. Okay, so let's go say hello to our friends. This is the village of Keeps. You must be Edgar's daughters, you're back! Yeah, we made it. And that must be our dad's grave over there. It's a shame a man like Edgar was betrayed by his pupil. Say, didn't that Edgar have another pupil? Warren, that's his name, I think. He was terribly injured, too. Where is he now? Alright, so that's another plot thread. The other apprentice. You're Edgar's daughters. I can't accept money from you. You're from this village. There's no charge. Would you like to stay? Well, why not? We're already here. Good morning. Have a safe journey. 
So outside of this town is probably the best place to train. How long has it been since Edgar died? <laughs> the, the stray puppy Nara took in back. Okay. The stray puppy Nara took in back, then, has grown up. Okay, so I guess that's just how they're saying how long it's been. Hey, it's you, Nara. Is it nice to be back in your hometown? Yeah, it's okay. This is an item shop. What would you like to do? So, the leather dress is still here. And the feather hat is, is now here. Which is better than the leather hat. But we also get the chain sickle. This is going to be Nara's best weapon at the moment. And some horses. Nay. Also nay. Popper. Bow wow wow. I despise Balzac. He became Edgar's pupil to steal his intent inventions. By the way, this is a secret. Orin, Edgar's other pupil, is hiding in the cave west of the village. Orin may know Bolzak's whereabouts. Alright, so now we know where Orin is. Now it reads the signpost. The house of Edgar, alchemist. Ah, uh, this was home. Life Force Nuts. Excellent. But nothing is found. And downstairs, there's a treasure chest. And inside is... Nothing. Fantastic. That's all to do in the village in the morning. Let's uh, fight outside for a little bit. Another level up. And a new spell. Sap. Okay, so where's this cave? Ooh, okay. Rabbit Hound. Now this might take a little more careful use of force. Blaze the rabbit hound. Oh, that's hard. Okay, but there's one Crasco's hopper down. Okay, let's heal. And you use Blaze again on the hound. This should be no problem now. See, that was a little dangerous. Might want to be careful before we start advancing too far. turn the level up. No new spells for her, though. Ooh, 
okay. This was a, you know, a little tough, a little challenging last time. But we got enough MP to handle this. And 26 gold, that's not too bad. heal in time. Not enough MP. Dang. Miss. No oh, good. Okay, gotta take out that rabbit hound. hoping to get further, but we're a little over, well, we're well over 20 minutes now, and I did want to check the town before nightfall, or rather after nightfall, so I think that's what we're going to do. We'll just, we'll just uh, check out the village at night time, and then we'll call it an episode, and maybe I'll do some training off screen to get us more money. It is night time. Aw, the pupper. You're asleep. It's only one bed. It's a shame a man like Edgar was betrayed by his pupil. Yep, you mentioned this in the morning. Now you'll let us stay here free of charge. I hear an awful rumor on my way here. The new king of Kilon has aligned himself with the evil ones. Ooh. So yeah, we thought there was unscrupulous things going on there. Rumor is Edgar failed to make gold, but he made an extraordinary discovery. The secret of evolution that it is. Or that's it. King of Kilon's taxation is severe. I have to work late every day. So, Dad did find out something. Hmm. Oh, poor dog. Ah, I'm kind of surprised we can't like examine the, the gravestone. And hello. Don't hurt me. I'm not a bad slime. Do you know? Orin used to break open locked doors. Hmm. So Orin is strong enough to break locks. There is no house of healing here. So I can't save. That's the case. We'll just walk back to Manbarabar. And we'll save there. Oh, 
Oh, I really should have used Blaze. Eh, it's not that big a deal. Need 350 to get the boomerang for Mara. 550 to get the chain sickle for Nara, so that's 900. That might be my first goal. Then I'll need 500 for two letter dresses, and then 560 for two feathered hats. So yeah, we'll say around 2,000 gold. That's alright, all that money making I will do off screen. So we are going to call it an episode here, and when we get back together, I think we'll go searching for that cave to see what Orin is doing. Alright, thank you for watching. I will see you in the next episode.